and no fafo the i think i think the largest argument here is just no bio screens baby nothing no bio screens hd phobia published some first party gaming benchmarks from amd why would why would that be why would they not publish that amd's testing is 30 minutes overclocked x63 cpu and a samsung okay so whatever at least so it, when it comes to this when it comes to first party so amd told you themselves so it's already over it's over what the hell the, the there's your review right there first party first party means amd themselves amd themselves told you six percent faster with six thousand megahertz ram okay what other assumptions can you uh take from this let's just go through the list of assumptions right out of the box which means e cores on um out of the box which means xmp no sub timings yeah you don't really have to look at anybody else's benchmarks then it seems like amd tested a plethora of games here look at this that's a lot of games i think this is fine and uh amd hasn't come out and said that this is false information either so it has to be legit that's a lot of games dude so okay well let, let, let's back up here for a second six percent i would say hmm anywhere anywhere from 10 to see here's the thing here's did they test factorio in here no they didn't did they test civilization six no they didn't see there's a there's a few games where intel is insanely faster borderlands 2 civ 6 rift breaker did they test rift breaker no they didn't yeah they're they're avoiding those rts style games on purpose no rift breaker borderlands um factorio like these games show like 30 to 35 percent faster for intel right so that's why it's it's a i guess that's why they avoided that shit. but i guess if they if they included these games even their numbers would show zero percent faster right so let's say let's say you include these games anywhere from 10 to 20 percent faster or slower faster 13 900 K is faster on average depending on the title I would assume that these ones here horizon zero dawn is gonna tie I already know that it's gonna tie and uh this f1 I don't know I might have to just get that one to try it out myself any other outliers here no no yeah there you go there's your benchmark right there there's your fucking benchmark it's over amd still loses in cpu and gpu not much else to say about that we we have that they, they they told you themselves six percent six percent with no tuning now you want to talk about whether that's good or not though that's a different story okay hang on like like if you're just a, a dumb cod bro is it a viable solution maybe maybe you don't want to pay 500 dollars for a consult maybe total platform cost would be four four nine two two nine one three five eight hundred and thirteen dollars now let's go check out intel right so total 
platform cost is... Five seventy, three sixty, three ten, twelve forty dollars. So, how much more money is that? Twelve forty, but eight thirteen. Yeah, that's fifty three percent more money. More money for for at most fifteen percent FPS. So yeah. There, there is, there is an argument for this, totally, not including the fucking, not including the consult fee, $500, and the, uh, hours of FAFO, BIOS screen, nonsense, stress test, etc, 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 right? Yeah, I think so, man. I, I don't don't buy the 7950x 3d or the uh the 70 yeah, there's a reason why amd delayed this one right there's a fucking reason because this is the best one right now this one has e cores if you do any productivity stuff but we're we're, we're just concerned about gaming only gaming so the e cores get turned off anyway so yeah See, this is what AMD needs to market it as. You you should be marketing this as uh, you get the fastest gaming CPU for the lowest money, or, or um, you get you get all of the performance. I don't know how they would market it. Best bang for buck. It's not the fastest, but man, your dollar goes way further, which is what AMD's uh mo has always been your dollar goes further when you go amd yeah that's fine there's nothing nothing wrong with that right it's not the fastest so what what is what let's say what's 15 percent fps right 200 on amd which would be 230 on intel warzone right It's not, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop you from competing the only problem with this is your other cod bros are gonna make fun of you for not having 230 that's the only issue because that's what all streamers do by the way they're like oh you're only at 200 i have 230 can't compete i think that is a win yeah that's a pretty good win here man Right, because you don't have to get a die. M die works just fine on AMD. Cheap. That could be the way, that could be the recommendation going forward here for the, the mainstream. And no FAFO. The, I, think, I think the largest argument here is just no BIOS screens, baby. Nothing. No BIOS screens. That's such a... That, that was why I loved the 5800X3D so much. No BIOS screen right that was like my favorite cpu oh i don't have to do shit fuck yeah dude that's why it's so nice do the best intel for 18830 ah uh, that's a good idea what can what can we do for 800 so this is this we have the conclusion for this one right 50 percent more money 15 percent more fps okay so 813 dollars how much does this cost total? 420 plus 260, 135. Oh, it's the exact same. So we've already hit the cap there. Yeah. Yeah, you literally have to build it like this. This is the, they're, so they're identical. And then if you get Hynix M die, you cap out at 7,200 anyway, which this motherboard does anyway. Uh, so that would be fine. Yeah. And then if you get a die, maybe you get 7600 now you're playing the lottery on the sticks that you get right that could be it that could be it that would uh, and then in terms of performance let's say you got the 13700k to 
and 7200 worst case scenario this is probably five to ten percent slower than a 13900k maxed out a die yeah so here so this would be zero to ten percent faster than amd for the same money for same money but caveat mega fanfo lots of time on a bios screen fucking around and finding out so that's actually i would still give the win to amd for that one though i don't i don't think like if, if you're gonna put if you're gonna put that much effort into tuning in a bios screen you would go with the max i don't think you would do this maybe well i would i because i know what i know what i'm doing but for the average gamer i don't think so man i think amd still has the win here just because i hate fucking buy off screens man i hate them like like it and anything anything that allows me to not be in a buy off screen has so much more weight in terms of value than than fps it's like it's like if i'm playing uh overwatch or warzone or some shit it's like 200 fps versus 220 fps let's say 230 but this one saves me 20 or 30 hours of stress testing and buy fuck yeah dude i don't need this i don't need it give me the 3d thanks right but that's me some people do and some people enjoy the bios screen well in which case sure but it's cool it's cool you know what maybe i'm gonna go order this motherboard and uh actually slim is sending me a 12 900k which is the same as this anyway so i i could do it i could do that yeah maybe i'll and i have some high next a die here too yeah i could do it i could do it okay hmm maybe i'll save that for another video though maybe i'll do that after the initial review for the first video let's just find out what the fastest is and then for the second video maybe i'll do per dollar what's the what's the best what's the best per dollar maybe we'll do that why not ddr4 because it just costs too much i have a ddr4 maybe fuck yeah it's still it's still more expensive than hynix isn't that crazy that's fucking insane but the motherboard is far far cheaper to the point that's another that's another value angle too isn't it what would be better probably a 13 900 580 what about a KF? 570. Yeah, I could just pay the fucking 580 then. Oh, yeah, that would be better, wouldn't it? 580 plus 100 plus 150. 830. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's, yeah. That's a yeah, huh? And then what if you get one that does like 4,400, 4,300? Mm. No, I wouldn't recommend two by eight now. Two by sixteen is too cheap. Two by sixteen is hella cheap, dude. What if you're a streamer and need those cores? Yeah yeah oh well or what if you ever do want to fucking stream yeah e cores are so fucking nice for that yeah it, yeah well shit that's so th this is a, this is already becoming a pretty muddy ass review dude just because they're they're, they're th th it's true there's like a hundred different angles to go about this look how many fucking angles so if you're a streamer, you would do this one because it has 16 E cores for the same price. Even if you do lose 5% FPS, 
but you got the 16 e cores now where do you draw the line yeah huh so maybe maybe i'll i do i still have my uh my a pro as well i'll add this in my second video too because the price is the same what if a 13 900k with b die trumps the 13 700k with m die and trumps this okay yeah what if what if it's faster than this one and to get the e cores yeah that that eliminates this value altogether doesn't it oh yeah so this would actually be pointless to test wouldn't it what if this is the fastest for the same money and, and and you wouldn't get any of those dips or drawbacks in uh rts titles like civilization and all that shit yeah that's that's a good call ace that's a good call dude you still have to fafo but honestly there's b die fafo isn't even fafo dude b die is like you just go punch in some fucking optimizer numbers and you're done dude like b die is just that's not fafo it's ddr5 is fafo but b die fuck no well shit so not now now you know you know we're going now now it's like why would you buy a die and why why would you spend the fifteen hundred dollars at all if this is only gonna be ten percent slower for fucking fifty percent less money? It's like god damn man, we're we're back to fucking B die again, aren't we? We just can't get away from this shit. We're just we're we're back to square one. Nothing ever changes. It's like god damn. Just back to DDR4 again. It's over the value man okay so so i'm i'm gonna start i'm gonna get my test benches set up tonight and do these ones get ready for monday or whenever the cpu comes out tuesday yeah i'm gonna get these ones done get my numbers ready and then hopefully i'll be able to pop out those uh day day one or day two numbers for you guys like I usually do. And in the Discord, if you do find purchase links, pre-orders or whatever, please ping me. I won't ban you. Ping me that shit so I can buy it and get it secured and all that good stuff. Anyway, guys, let's call it there.